I'm Nicha from Indonesia. Today, I want to share you about my latest project about IoT. Simply, it's a device for help farmers monitor and analyze soil nutrients level in their fields. It's called Mobile Internet of Things LMIOT for Smart Monitoring Nitrogen, Phosphorus and Potassium in Soil. It's a device designed to be as simple as possible for easy to use. So, the main feature of this tool is to analyze the NPK content in the soil form farmers where later the value of the NPK will appear on this small LE screen and later the value will be sent by the device to the application and our smartphone that directly shows the result. So we can monitor the NPK value of the soil and save it as a report, material, and also research for the development of land and plants. So, what is in the device? In this device, yes, like this. <laughs> TX CT sensor as the main actor this time, not MCU V3 as the brain, MAX 485 module as the communication mode, OLED battery, charger module, educator battery, keypad, and also step drone. But it's not as beautiful as this year. When we move to the reality, this is what it looks like, like when it's still being experimented with, still using the breadboard and a jumper. And after this, of course, we will experiment from accessing the LED screen. Then, we set the power rate of this GXCD sensor, and then we do programming until the results from the sensor are appropriate and stable. Here, I use Arduino IDE as a text editor and MQTT as a message sender between the device and the application letter. And we are not going to leave it like this. So, I decided to use a single layer matrix PCB. This is the first time I learned about the soldering and the results are good. Yay! It's not that bad, right? This is lo look good for me. And yes, we just assemble it in the box. Don't forget to try each tool. Make sure all the tools are running properly. Okay, after the tool is finished, we can move on to the application. Here yeah, because I design everything myself, so I build the application using Apple Paint Vector to make it faster. Here, I use extensions such as the spreadsheets, table viewer, PDF extension, and MQTT client to help run the application. So, the data that has been stored in the application can be directly accessed in the spreadsheet or can be directly viewed in the application as a comparative data. The data has been saved can be accessed at any time and can be saved as a PDF on a smartphone with a display like this. After everything is done, I will try one by one features and make sure that everything is running well. The data shown is stable, and also the display on the application along with the LED makes it easier for farmers or user to operate the tool. And here you can see the full video without a break in the next video because here it will take too long time for just to experiment the experiment and trying the application and the device. Well after all is done, it's time for direct file testing. Yay! Yay!
Here, I was satisfied a farmer with my own brother-in-law. There are plenty of chilies that were just planted a few days ago. And after testing on two types of fertile and dead plants, there is a significant bit different in the NPK value in the soil. But this will continue to be test until the tool can show stable and appropriate results. Okay, this end of this video and miss this time I got a lot of learning starting from multiple sensor access, bolt rate adjustment, uh, soldering and also how to make the menu and the LED more interesting. Even though it's not a main program, but I, it's really interesting. Thanks for watching, look forward to my NPK project or other project, IoT or even AI. I, I'm start learning AI. So don't hesitate to comment in the column below. And also don't forget to subscribe my channel. Love ya!